Time has passed, life has passed, but memory stays with us. Longer we live, more questions are asked. What happened? Who was right? Why victims? Maiden, or revolution of dignity, is an event which has changed all of us and every one of us. No one was indifferent to Maiden. Someone was against, but most Ukrainians were for it. Especially young people were active. I, of course, was affected by Maiden. At the beginning of the Revolution of Dignity, I was only 13. This is rather young age, but even then I started to be interested in political development in my country. Now, it is a time when many of my peers get interested in politics, because we live in an era of changes and it's up to us, young people, to build a better life in Ukraine. On November 30, at 2013, young people came out to our main area of the capital. I didn't understand and I was against Maiden because it wasn't believed that it's pointless. It seemed to me that we couldn't change anything by such way. But after a night when police dispersed the protesters harshly, December 1st at 2013, on the Square of the Independence, so a lot of people gathered angered by the beating of the students. We didn't want to live in a police state, in the state where the right is in the hands of corrupt officials and corrupt policemen. Citizens of Ukraine have decided to embark on the path of building a European state. So, at the Independent Square, tent city appeared. A few days later, I realized a maiden, a machine revolution which achieves its goals. Peaceful protests began. All this time I was a maiden, and my soul thought about people who defy the system. In 2014, I was 14 years old. I watched the news and worried for the people who lived in tents, because at night another assault began. I didn't feel the festive atmosphere, I am not pleased neither the birthday gifts, nor gifts for the new year, neither the festively decorated Christmas tree. I wasn't up to all this. For my birthday I asked parents to make me a gift, go together to Maiden. When you are only 14 and you request such a gift, you may seem silly. But at the time it was my sincere desire. It was a sincere desire of children. Then I couldn't imagine that it will be the last days of my childhood. And my childhood ended when the first fighting broke out on Maiden. After the Verkhovna Rada adopted the dictatorial laws of January 16. Maiden started the attack of Berkut and internal troops. People understood the government would try to keep the power. Maidans began to reinforce barricades and water them, which quickly got frozen. People brought a huge set of tires. Can you imagine tires burning? That night Kiev burned. At 8 p.m. I turned on TV and started watching what was happening there. I felt something bar and the first death appeared. It was on January 22nd, 2014. That night I changed. I won't be able to forget that night for the rest of my days. A young man died. He was from an Armenian family. His name was Rihi Negoyan. At the age of 21, he gave his life for the freedom of Ukraine. Then, for three days, five people were killed. There were a lot of wounded. There were in all hospitals of the city. People started bringing money, medicines, foods, clothes, blood to hospitals. Everyone helped what he could. Then they killed more than 100 people. People of different ages and professions. They died to change life in Ukraine, to free our nation from corruption and dictatorship family. I was scared. I cried when these brave people were killed. It was scarier when Maiden buried its heroes. Probably the whole Ukraine were crying. When they left, people were on their knees. There wasn't revolution without death. It is very difficult to realize that such heroes died. Now in heaven they are watching over us. And we must do our best to make our country better.